Hi everybody, welcome to a new vlog. I wanted to say good morning, but let's be real, it's not morning anymore. It's right now, I think about 2.30. This morning I woke up and then I went to the hairdresser. As you can see, my hair is so much shorter. It was getting so long, it was dry, it was frizzy, and it just didn't look good at all. But for some reason, I never make the time to go to the hairdresser. So yesterday I was like, I need to make an appointment and they had a spot for me today which is perfect I am really really happy with the length it's now a little bit curly so or not really curly but a little bit wavy so it's a little bit shorter as well but I really like it plus it just looks healthy again then when I came home I had breakfast then I filmed the video right now I'm done I still need to edit but at least I filmed everything that I need to so right now I'm going to have some lunch I'm super hungry and uh, yeah then I'm going into the center so I thought it would be nice to take you guys with me while I was talking to you guys the doorbell rang and it was the delivery man and there are two new packages of course I can't wait I'm always so curious so I need to open it right away and I thought we can take a look together the first package is from born pretty store and I think this is called the cat eye 3d gel if i'm correct and these are six different colors um, i wanted to test this out to see if it's maybe cool to do in a video i've been waiting for this package for a really long time so i'm happy that it arrived and you also need a top coat and you also need a base coat so this is the full package so i can start right away so i'm definitely wanted to try this out and then hopefully i can make a video about it now this package, I already know what's inside. Maybe you already recognize the packaging. It's from Erin Condren. So this is my new life planner for 2020. Here we go. Their packaging is always super cute. It's always very difficult to open things with one hand. Come on just break almost there yes all right oh wait there's all kinds of stuff in here Ooh. okay there's a pouch that is super cute what does it say a plenty pack ah that's cute wait i will open this one as well but i can definitely not open this with one hand guys that's just too difficult what is this mm, i don't know again i need to open this as well because i can't do it with one hand and then this is oh this is a pen holder these are actually really useful if you uh, want you can attach these to your life planner and then it can hold a pen that's really cool i didn't know all of this would be in here and this oh this is a priorities list you can make like a sort of to-do list that's really cool as well and then this is not my life planner, it's in some sort of a box. Oh, this is super heavy. Look at this. I've never had my life planner in a box like this before. Really pretty. I opened the dashboard and as you can see, you can just click it in your life planner over here. And then just write on it if you want to make a to-do list or something like that. I already have one, but it's different from like three years ago or something so it's really good to have a new one because i used it a lot all right so i removed the plastic from this box look how pretty it is i think it's like something that you can store things in i haven't <gasps> oh it's a pen oh that's really pretty i didn't look in it before so i didn't know what was inside can i Oh, of course, I can't do this with one hand. I really need to learn how to do things with one hand because this is not professional vlogging, guys. Okay. Ah! Okay. Oh, look how pretty. It looks really pretty. I love the colors. 
This pouch is also super pretty. I really like it. And on the back you have this band so you can attach it to like the, the front or the back of your life planner so it sticks. That's really cool and you can also put stuff in here. I've never seen this but it is really really cool. And now of course we're going to open the life planner. All right, do you guys think I can open this with one hand? Yeah, it's going, it's going. Almost there. Yeah. Yes, all right, we did it. Here is my new life planner for 2020. It also has a ruler and this time I went with a leopard design because I really like leopard designs but I also thought it was super cool because um, right now on their website if you choose certain fronts like certain designs you can choose the colors that you want so I chose this color with white I think this one was called mauve but I'm not 100% sure um, and then with the white spots and then of course with the Melsa's world and I went for the rose gold binder I think it's called a binder I'm not 100% sure um, because this is pink as well so I thought it would look very nice now one thing that I changed this year, let me show you, because you can choose different layouts. I always have the horizontal one, but this year I wanted to try something different. This is my, I think my third or fourth Erin Condon life planner. And this time I chose the vertical one because I want to use it more for video planning and that kind of stuff. And I think this is going to be better, but that's why I wanted to try it this year to see which one I like the most. But again, it is super pretty. They always have these lovely quotes everywhere. And yes, here they have another pouch. They always do this. In the back of the life planner, they always have a pouch with some really cute cards and that kind of stuff. I am going to make a review about this one again on my blog, which I do every single time. So I'm going to check all the new differences and that kind of stuff. All right, packages are unboxed. So I'm going upstairs to see how far Nicole is so we can go outside because right now it's dry. It's raining here all the time. It's sometimes so annoying. So whenever it's dry, I quickly go outside. I do my groceries and everything that I need to do and then back in the house before it starts raining again. So I think we need to hurry. As you can see, I'm all wrapped up. Thick scarf, warm coat, my hat on. I am ready for Dutch weather. Look who's here. Hi guys! <laughs> I'm all ready for Dutch weather too. Mm, where's your hat? I don't have a hat. And where's your scarf? I'm more Dutch than you, see? I'm not cold. <laughs> yeah, you're never cold, and to I'm, be honest. Yeah, and I'm never wearing any gloves or anything, but I'm hiding my hands in my pockets. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but I still have the... <laughs> these gloves that I need. Sorry that I filmed it the other day. I didn't even know. Oh no, I showed it in my mug as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh no, I don't care. But uh, I definitely need a new pair of gloves because this is not going to hold me. Did you see her new hair? I showed it to them. It's so much shorter. It's a little bit getting used to because I usually I'm used to the fact that my hair is super long, but it's so light on my head. I love it. <laughs> Okay, so we need to grab the Lego set. We will bring it to a friend and then we will do some shopping. Shopping? I need to get candy canes for in the Christmas tree. I completely forgot I about love it. Candy canes! Yes! I love them. And uh, what else? Oh, wrapping paper. Wrapping paper for the presents. Okay, I'm going to take one of these. It's exactly the same as I have. And then we're going to make somebody very happy with this delivery. Here we go, this is the store and we're going to bring her her Legos. Hopefully she's going to be super happy. If you ever have a party, you need to go to this store because they have everything. Balloons, wigs, cards. It's really, really cool. Nico is going to buy a hot dog from Hema because she loves them so much. Unfortunately, they don't have the vegan version yet, so no food for me. And here is our shopping street. As you can see, the Christmas lights are already out. And at the end, 
you can see a little bit of the church. All right, first stop is Yamin to see if they have some candy canes. And of course, they also have to be vegan. So let's see if they have them. All right, I found them, but I also noticed that they have these and Oreo version. That's cool, but of course I'm going with these because I like these the best. Next stop is the Hunkamaller. See if they have anything good. This looks very, very fluffy and super soft. They really have some nice Christmassy pajamas. We're now going to Zara. Nicole wants to check out the store, so it's all the way at the end. And I really like it that so many stores already have all the Christmas stuff in the in the windows because it looks super nice. Here we are. Let's see if they have anything nice. We didn't find anything at Zara. Now we are over here. This is a really nice place. If you walk over there, you go to our big main square. But the houses here are really cute. And here is also our kennel. It's always really nice to take a, a little walk over here. We're now going to check and see if the Olibolan stand is here. It's usually around the corner from the church. And then see if they have anything good. It's here, you can see it right over there. Nicole is in the mood for a waffle, so let's see if they still have them. Because sometimes at the end of the day, they're sold out, Nicole. I'm always in the mood for waffles. <laughs> Especially with a lot of chocolate or yeah. caramel or mm, something like that. Sugar and like flakes. But what if they're sold out? Then uh, we'll go for coffee juice, I guess. Dutch bakery where they sell olibollen and all that kind of stuff. Let me check. Yes, they still have the waffles. And of course they have olibollen as well. Nicole has her waffle. Yes! Uh, she got, got the chocolate one. With Smarties. With Smarties. Smarties. Yeah. How cool is that? So right now we're going to the supermarket to see what we want to eat. And uh, yeah, then we're just going to go back home. I found my wrapping paper. So I'm done. I wanted to say that I know what I don't want to eat. Is it vegetables? Yes. But that's always the case. When Nicole is here, me and Vic, after a few days, are like, we need vegetables. But I surprised you this time. Yes, this time she ate peas, which I don't even like. I <laughs> eat most vegetables besides peas. <laughs> but if there's something that she eats when it's like sort of healthy, I'm good. I will just <laughs> throw it on the table because I want her to eat the vegetables as well. But uh, yeah, so probably at least me and Vic are going to have some vegetables tonight with something. And then let's see if we can get this one to eat something else. <laughs> I'm going to put the candy canes in the tree. Let me see if I can do it like this. There we go. Let me also put one here. And there we go. I always really like how it looks. So we have two over there. Then also one more on the side, maybe here. The tree is a little bit full, so it's really hard to find some good spots. There we go. And then there's one left. Let's take a look. Because here we have a few over there. Maybe let's put it, I think, over here. Yes. All right, now the tree is completely finished. The oven is ready, so I'm going to put the potatoes in. These are rosemary and salted potatoes. They're really good. Usually I just make them myself, but uh, Nicole saw these and they're already like this, so I can just throw them in the oven and then they're done. So perfectly fine because then I don't have to do too much. And she also wanted some carrots, so I'm going to make those as well. But since carrots don't really have a lot of protein and that kind of stuff. Uh, I also got a broccoli, so me and Vic can eat a little bit of broccoli and then a few carrots, which is a little bit better. And I am, me and Vic, going to eat a uh, chicken schnitzel. And then Nicole has these ones, but these ones have cheese in them, so these are vegetarian and not vegan. So that's why she is eating these, but we are having this one. Micah found the perfect spot on this really soft blanket. 
Hello, sweetie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the best part of the house. All right, we're ready to build the gingerbread house. Unfortunately, Nicole is still editing her vlog. Uh, no, sorry, video. It's not. Oh, it is a it vlog. Is a vlog yeah. It's a video and a vlog. Yes, it's but once she's done, she can join us either to help build the gingerbread house or all the other sets that we still have. I don't think we're going to finish everything tonight anyways. So it doesn't matter, but we do really need her help because it's too much otherwise. I will help you. <laughs> Thank you. I have the stickers. Super cute. And then there are two books and many bags of Lego. All right, so far we have the Christmas tree. Then we have a little horse, a little truck, another gift, the stroller for the baby, mom and dad. I haven't seen the baby yet. <laughs> and then the little train, the a here. gift with a heart. Here is the baby. Where's the baby? Oh, he's holding the baby. Wait, the camera is not focused at all. Here's the little baby. So we can put him in the stroller. <laughs> and then there's a gift with a heart. And this is a snow machine, I think. What is this? A snow plow. Snow plow, all right. And another gift. And then over here, the house. It's looking pretty well. Look, this is the back, the inside. And look, because these stones, they are pink and uh, purple and they have glitter. It's super cute. The house is getting better and better. Look at it. And somebody is helping me. Yes, look, a little lamp. Nice. Yeah. You need to put it here. All right. Please don't destroy the house, Nicole. Wait. The gingerbread house is finished. As you can see, we have tiny little windows. Here's the door. There are two candy canes. You can also move them. You can put them like this or like this, whatever you want. And then here's the fireplace. And if you press over here, the light goes on. Then over here are two more windows. And do you see the wood over here? Over here. It's super cute. It's such a nice detail next to the fireplace. And then there's a door on the side. And then here we have the bathroom. I made a bath and I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's actually chocolate inside. So it's a chocolate bath with a little toilet. Here is the little bed for the baby. Well, the gingerbread baby. There's a bed made of chocolate. Who doesn't want to have a bed made of chocolate? And downstairs, there is the living room. You can also move the chair. And again, if I press the thingy, the fireplace goes on. And then here is the kitchen. If I turn a light on, Behind the windows, you can actually see the pink and purple, and it also has glitter. Let me move it a little bit. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. Oh, there we go. You see? It's really, really cool. All right, this is it. Now it's time to sleep. Thanks for watching.